Worrying indeed. Now Kenya is striving to change the stagnant statistics on maternal, infant and child mortality. In October last year, the government expanded free maternity services, targeting 400,000 women who are delivering at home through an initiative dubbed Linda Mama. This would see expectant women access free antenatal and postnatal clinics, as well as one-year-long child health services in public and selected private hospitals. Ray Polo looks at a case study of young mothers and a midwife for mutually embracing hospital delivery in Cabernet, Baringo County. 30 degrees Celsius. Just the right temperature for a newborn who cannot survive on mom's natural warmth. She sucks soundly, oblivious to the ticking technology that is behind her very existence, at least until her body will be strong enough for the outside world. Meanwhile, new moms come in to feed or admire their budding beauties. This is the new face of the labor ward at Beringo County Referral Hospital. It is an attractive establishment that beckons many expectant mothers, even drawing them from the sooty hearts of traditional bath attendants. Yeah, your tradition was <laughs> because you can eat up and I went in on Isaacuva. Indeed, a sure aboard to bring forth a life. But the hills of Chemolingot hide many tears. Some mothers and children have succumbed to pregnancy and childbirth related complications. That is why Beula and Teresa do not take chances. It is a triple dose that encapsulates a healthy baby in a healthy environment and at no cost. <laughs> The moms are beneficiaries of the Linda Mama Project, an initiative of the Kenyan government that ensures free maternal services at public health facilities. Equipment at Beringo Hospital have improved and so has the number of deliveries. We've seen increased number of deliveries progressively from a, about 2,100 in 2013 to oh, 2,450 in 2016. In a generational twist, Jemolingot mothers are shelling off age-old dependence on traditional birth attendants. Even Christine Lumuda has hung up her three decade old tools and directs her former clients to hospitals. Let expectant mothers go to the hospital because that is where there is good health and able doctors who can do what I cannot. She only keeps a record to track past patients' progress, her wrinkling hands only delivering babies when emergency strikes. Nationally, more and more women receive antenatal and postnatal care. When the late to say, maternity may fika, na kuna chetuje kwenye tunatipishwa. But challenges still lie in fund limitation and delayed disbursement. One thing that needs to be done is one prompt a, a provision of money. I think there has been some questionable delay in a, a accessing the funds. Meanwhile, for Beula and Teresa, nothing beats the warm embrace of a healthy baby. Ray Polo, KTN News.